with some ideas in the laboratory to understand what could be the best antigen. After the selection has been done and there is uh, a candidate that is ready to move on, this uh, vaccine uh, will be moved into what is called the proclinical development. It's essentially testing more the vaccine in terms of its ability to uh, enable an immune response. studies are also called the first into human clinical trials as indeed will be the first time that the new vaccine will be tested in humans. important is to try to understand what is the safety of the vaccine in this small amount of subjects and the immunogenicity and what is the right dose or at least to have some initial idea. In these studies, again, the safety will be the primary component and the primary objective uh, of these uh, clinical trials. What is happening here is to increase the sample size to have more subject dosed maybe also in uh, in different geographical areas or maybe with other aspects in terms of age or any other important factor. We're often talking about thousands of patients or even uh, more than 10,000 subjects. is fine, the quality, safety and efficacy are of adequate level and the benefit risk is established as being positive, then the vaccine gets approved and then is ready to be uh, commercialized. Approval of a vaccine by the European Medicine Agency is an approval that is valid for all the EU member states. Now, in terms of deployment and availability, this much depends on what are the agreements that are done between the member states and the manufacturers. What is attended here is something extraordinary which is uh, having a vaccines available uh, roughly one year, one year and a half, maybe two. We have to differentiate between those testing that could be nice to have or supplementary important information but not critical versus those testing that are still considered crucial in order to protect the safety of the participants in clinical trials and later on to establish a positive benefit risk for those who will receive the vaccine.